Some type of foods were always common in every continent, such as many seafood and plants. Examples of these types of food are honey, ants, mussels, crabs and coconuts. Nikolai Vavilov initially identified the centers of origin for eight crop plants, subdividing them further into twelve groups in 1935. Americas <inaudible> 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 Corn, beans and squash were domesticated in Mesoamerica around 3500 BCE. Potatoes, quinoa and manioc were domesticated in South America. In what is now the eastern United States, Native Americans domesticated sunflower and sumpweed around 2500 BCE. <laughs> North America Nuts Acorn, Quercus alba, Quercus gambli, Quercus kelagi, Nothalithocarpus densiflorus, Phagaceae Black walnut, Juglans nigra, Juglandaceae Hickory nut, Caria, Juglandaceae Pecans, Caria illinoinensis, Juglandaceae Shagbark hickory, Caria ovata, Juglandaceae White walnut, Juglans cinerea, Juglandaceae Topic. Vegetables and grains Topic. Fruits Canada, Mexico, and the United States are home to a number of edible fruit, however, only three are commercially grown, known on a global scale grapes, cranberries, and blueberries. Many of the fruits below are still eaten locally as they have been for centuries and others are generating renewed interest by eco-friendly gardeners less need for bug control and chefs alike. Pacific Northwest Provisionally, this is primarily southern Coast Salish, though much is in common with Coast Salish overall. Anthropogenic grasslands were maintained. The South Coast Salish may have had more vegetables and land game than people farther north or on the outer coast. Salmon and other fish were staples in this area. There was kokanee, a freshwater fish in the Lake Washington and Lake Sammamish watersheds. Shellfish were abundant. Butter clams, horse clams, and cockles were dried for trade. Hunting was specialized, professions were probably sea hunters, land hunters, and fowlers. Water fowl were captured on moonless nights using strategic flares. The managed grasslands not only provided game habitat, but vegetable sprouts, roots, bulbs, berries, and nuts were foraged from them as well as found wild. The most important were probably bracken and commas, and wapato especially for the Duwamish. Many, many varieties of berries were foraged, some were harvested with comlike devices not reportedly used elsewhere. Acorns were relished but were not widely available. Regional tribes went in autumn to the Nisqually Flats Nisqually Plains to harvest them. Indeed, the region was so abundant that the southern Puget Sound as a whole had one of the only sedentary hunter-gatherer societies that has ever existed. Mexico and Central America Topic South America Topic Middle East or West Asia Topic Neolithic founder crops The Neolithic founder crops or primary domesticates are the eight plant species that were domesticated by early Holocene pre-pottery Neolithic A and pre-pottery Neolithic B farming communities in the Fertile Crescent region of Southwest Asia, and which formed the basis of systematic agriculture in the Middle East, North Africa, India, Persia and later Europe. They consist of flax, three cereals and four pulses, and are the first known domesticated plants in the world. 
Although domesticated rye occurs in the final EPI Paleolithic strata at Tel Abu Herrera the earliest instance of a domesticated plant species, it was insignificant in the Neolithic period of Southwest Asia and only became common with the spread of farming into Northern Europe several millennia later. Cereals and pseudocereals Barley Hordium vulgar, sativum, descended from the wild H. spontaneum Einkorn Triticum monococcum, descended from the wild T. boeticum Emmer Triticum dicocum, descended from the wild T. dicocoides Flax Linum usitidissimum Oats Sesame Wheat Rye Vegetables Pulses Bitter vetch Chickpea Lentil Lens culinaris P. Pisum sativum Other Carrots Cucumbers Leeks Lettuce Onions Parsley Radishes Almond Linseed Linum usitatissimum Mustard Fig Ficus carica Topic Europe Topic Plants Topic Fruit Blackcurrant Damsons Juniper berry Pear Pyrus communis Raspberry Rubus ideus Topic Vegetables Angelica Cabbage Parsnips Radish Rapeseed Turnip Topic Herbs Caraway Dill Hops Tarragon Thyme Oregano Wormwood Topic Other Chestnuts Topic Meat Duck Rabbit Topic Salt Atanasovsko salt Baskunchik salt Wielikska salt Topic Mediterranean There was a great deal of commerce between the provinces of the Roman Empire. All the regions of the empire became interdependent with one another, some provinces specialized in the production of grain, others in wine and others in olive oil, depending on the soil type. Colomella writes in his Res Rustica, "...soil that is heavy, chalky, and wet is not unsuited to the growing for winter wheat and spelt. Barley tolerates no place except one that is loose and dry." Pliny the Elder writes extensively about agriculture from books 12 to 19, in fact, 18 is the natural history of grain. Crops grown on Roman farms included wheat, barley, millet, pea, broad bean, lentil, flax, sesame, chickpea, hemp, turnip, olives, pear, apples, figs, and plums. Others in the Mediterranean include beets, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, caper, catnip, nepeta, Cauliflower Centaurium Fennel Kale Kohlrabi Vitus vinifera Mediterranean and subtropical fruits Fruits in this category are not hardy to extreme cold, as the preceding temperate fruits are, yet tolerate some frost and may have a modest chilling requirement. 
Notable among these are natives of the Mediterranean. Asia Fruits of Asian origin These are some fruits native to Asia or of Asian origin. North Asia Blackcurrant Cabbage Shamedabetan Plateau Barley Korean Peninsula Barley Legumes Millet South Asia Around 7000 BCE, sesame, brinjal, and humped cattle were domesticated in the Indus Valley. By 3000 BCE, turmeric, cardamom, black pepper and mustard were harvested in India. Plants Fruit Mango Jackfruit Banana Wood apple Orange Lemon Lime Coconut – native to a wide variety of coastal regions along the world's oceans Syzygium cumini – black plum Vegetables Moringa oleifera, drumsticks Cooking banana Okra Trichosanths cucumarina, snake gourd Coccinia grandis, ivy gourd Eggplant Pigeon pea Vigna mungo Herbs Cardamom Turmeric Ginger Mustard Ashwagandha Neem Indian gooseberry Asparagus racemosus Ajwain Sesame Cinnamon Coriander Curry tree Asafetida Caraway Clove Holy basil Black pepper Nigella sativa Black cumin, batal leaf, jackya, spearmint, cinnamomum tamala, Indian bay leaf, tamarind. Topic Other Cashew, native to Brazil but made an edible nut in Goa, sugarcane, rice, also native to China, castor oil. Topic Meat Zebu Red Jungle Fowl Grey Jungle Fowl Topic China Peach Soybean Foxtail Millet Ginseng Sweet Orange Mandarin Orange Rice Kiwifruit Persimmon Tea Buckwheat Africa Coffee Cola Watermelon Okra Black-eyed pea Baobab Dioscaria rotundata Oriza glabaramath first instances of domestication of plants for agricultural purposes in Africa occurred in the Sahel region circa 5000 BCE, when sorghum and African rice Oriza glabarima began to be cultivated. Around this time, and in the same region, phonio and the small guineafowl were domesticated. Around 4000 BCE the climate of the Sahara and the Sahel started to become drier at an exceedingly fast pace. This climate change caused lakes and rivers to shrink significantly and caused increasing desertification. 
This, in turn, decreased the amount of land conducive to settlements and helped to cause migrations of farming communities to the more humid climate of West Africa. The most famous crop domesticated in the Ethiopian highlands is coffee. Cot, insete, noob, teff, and finger millet were also domesticated in the Ethiopian highlands. Crops domesticated in the Sahel region include sorghum and pearl millet. The cola nut, extracts from which became an ingredient in Coca-Cola, was first domesticated in West Africa. Other crops domesticated in West Africa include African rice, African yams, black-eyed peas and the oil palm. <inaudible> Polynesia Alpinia galangia Casuarina Topic Australia Aniseed myrtle Macadamia nuts Topic Fruits of Australian origin Although the fruits of Australia were eaten for thousands of years as bushfood by Aboriginal people, they have only been recently recognised for their culinary qualities by non-Indigenous people. Many are regarded for their piquancy and spice-like qualities for use in cooking and preserves. Some Australian fruits also have exceptional nutritional qualities, including high vitamin C and other antioxidants. <laughs> <laughs> Current importance of food origins In 2016, researchers linked the origins and primary regions of diversity. Areas typically including the locations of the initial domestication of crops, encompassing the primary geographical zones of crop variation generated since that time, and containing relatively high species richness in crop wild relatives of food and agricultural crops with their current importance around the world in modern national food supplies and agricultural production. The results indicated that national diets and farm production around the world were generally composed of a large set of crops from many diverse origins. Foreign crops, crops whose origins do not include the same region as the country, comprised 68.7% of national food supplies as a global mean, and their usage has increased in the last 50 years. Topic: See also Arc of taste List of culinary herbs and spices List of culinary nuts List of dried foods List of edible seeds List of snack foods List of vegetables Local food Neolithic Revolution New World Crops <laughs>